Here are some notes on small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, also abbreviated to SIBO, S-I-B-O. Risk factors for SIBO include anatomic abnormalities like strictures, surgery, and small bowel diverticulosis, motility disorders like diabetes, scleroderma, and opioid use, as well as immunodeficiency like IgA deficiency, chronic pancreatitis, gastric hypochloridia, proton pump inhibitor use, and uh, that's it for the risk factors. Signs and symptoms, patients can have bloating and flatulence, they'll have chronic watery diarrhea, possible malabsorption, and decreased vitamin B12 levels, as well as high folate levels. So this is because vitamin B12 is consumed by the bacteria, so they'll have low levels in the blood, and folate is produced by the bacteria, so they'll have high levels of that in the blood. The diagnosis can be made with a carbohydrate breath test for lactulose or glucose. You can also do endoscopy with jejunal aspirate and culture. The treatment is oral antibiotics like rifamixin, uh, ciprofloxacin, and doxycycline are all good options.